The question is, can you use birch bark to make a bird's nest? You absolutely can. It's not going to work because of the size of it with a very fine ember like a bow drill or a hand drill, but with char cloth, it works really well. And I want everybody to remember this. Char cloth, you need to look at that as a renewable type of resource. I know I said this in another video, but I think it's really important to drive this home with everybody. Use as much of it as you need to get that fire going. Now, I'm not saying wastefully with it. If you have soaking wet grass, don't think, oh, I'm gonna put a whole t-shirt in there and make it work. That's not what I'm saying. But don't try to only use a one inch square when you can use a pretty good size piece to you know, dry that material out and get it going. So the key with this birch bark is to just make sure you have enough char cloth in, the, um, in it to get it going, okay? The other problem with this is the way it is um, in strips, it's hard to really control. So you want to make sure if you're gonna be starting your fire here, you're right near, near it, and um, you're really gonna have to try to just manage this the best you can. So I like to just keep it somewhat in a clump right in front of me. I'll get my char cloth, char cloth lit and uh, we will see what we can do here. So I'm gonna take all the char cloth I have left in my char tin. And if you get to this point, of course you should be making more char cloth. So that will be on my list of things to get done with this fire that I make and uh, it should be good. So again, it's gonna be a little bit of a balancing act because as you can see right here, that's just a clump of stuff just laying. So if you have open flame, that works best, but char cloth will work. If you notice when you're doing anything with a larger amount of char cloth, when you give it enough oxygen, you'll see small bursts of flame. The cloth itself actually bursts into flame very quickly. And that's really what we're looking for here. That it will ignite the volatile oils in this and it's gonna work fine. So let's get started. All right, get that lit up. Now again, I'm gonna just clump this up the best I can. Get that char cloth in there. See, I'm really squeezing this. Now we have flame. So I'd want to lay this right down. See that, look at that, that's burning like crazy. I'd want to get that right down in my fire lay. Any scraps of birch bark that I have left, get on top and you'll be good to go. So just remember, it's just changing the equation a little bit. Add a little bit more char cloth, get a little bit more heat in there and you will be successful when you're out there in the field. But in a snowy environment like this, this works really well. So this was Dan Wellack with Coal Cracker Bushcraft. You could see all that, <laughs> those oils burning off. Check it out. So this was Dan Wellack with Coal Cracker Bushcraft. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check us out at coalcrackerbushcraft.com and until the next video, stay in the woods, guys.